All right, this example looks fairly easy with nice, happy numbers. Let's play around with it. First thing we're going to do is subtract the 6 to the other side. Then we're going to add our magic number. Our magic numbers take the middle coefficient, divided by 2, and square it. So that would be 2 squared, or 4. So we're going to add 2 squared, or 4, to each side, so that our factored form is nice and easy of x plus 2 squared. Negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2. Now we use the square root property by saying I can take the positive and negative square root of both sides. And I am taking the square root of a negative. So this gives me i root 2. Now I know previously we tried to write all of our i problems, all of our complex numbers as a plus bi. But a lot of times when it comes to radicals, you'll see it written with the i in front of the radical just so that it's clear where the i is. Because if I said root 2i, it's not altogether clear if the i is underneath the radical or not. So sometimes you'll see it written that way. To finish solving for x, we're just going to subtract 2 to the other side, giving us negative 2 plus or minus i root 2. And there's our answer to that quadratic equation.